Lui lies 450 kilometers northeast of Bangkok and shares a border with the neighboring country of Laos. Its history is also intertwined with the two different nations. We're at Pratat Si Song Rat, 32 kilometers from the Mekong River, that's the border between Thailand and Laos. When this was built back in 1560, the border was right here, and the name means stupa of love between the two nations. The two nations being Thailand, back when the capital was in Ayutthaya, and Lao, when the name was Lan Chang, the kingdom of a million elephants. Now, the two nations fell in love partly because they both hated the Burmese, but it was a serious affair, and to this day there is a dress code here. No red is allowed because red is the color of hatred and violence. So, assuming we're appropriately attired, let's go explore. The original stone inscription reads, The generations to come must not violate and dispossess territory of the other. They must not be greedy or act in a deceitful manner in their interaction until the sun and the moon fall down on this land. Wow. Pratat Si Songrak is the oldest Buddhist edifice in Dansai, but it's not the only one. We're in Wat Neramit Vipassana in Dansai district. The temple itself was built fairly recently, in 1978 but it was made out of a stone called laterite, and that's the same stone that was used to build Angkor Wat and Pimai, a few hundred kilometers to the south. Inside, there's a mural that took seven years to finish. Let's go take a look. You can see why it took so long. The detail is incredible, and because it's so recent, the colors are vibrant. This image of the Buddha is pretty lustrous too. It's a copy of the original at Wat Yai in Pitsamulo. At the other end of the ordination hall is the Mondo, and inside, the monk who founded the temple. Well, on closer inspection, it's a replica. His preserved body is actually in the casket behind. Does that seem a little spooky to you? Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. If you've spent any time in Thailand, especially if you've watched any Thai TV or movies, you'll have heard the phrase, Glua Pee. The fear of ghosts runs deep in the Thai psyche. In fact, one of the most popular and certainly the most bizarre festivals in Thailand is Pee Da Khon. It started out as a simple rain-making ritual for rice farmers, but it grew into a full-on freakout. Unlike Halloween, the P. Da Khon festival doesn't take place on the same date each year. It's determined by local mystics. Whenever it is, it takes a lot of artistic handiwork and painstaking preparation. These masks are made from rice husks and coconut leaves. The hats are made from rice steamers. The clothes come from whatever you can get your hands on. 
And don't worry about elegant lines and subtly blended colours. You'd better patchwork. The festival begins on quite a serious note with a ceremonial parade around downtown Dansai. It's not just a joyride. The monks and the townspeople are asking for protection from Pra Upakut, the spirit of the Moon River. But when the heavenly religious rites are dutifully completed, all hell breaks loose. And since the festival is a celebration of regeneration and fertility, it's a good excuse to get a bit naughty and do the wild thing. Some history and some mystery in Dan Sai, in the northeastern Thai province of Lui. <laughs> 